In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a cover for your book or your ebook using Placeit. The first thing you want to do is go to placeit.net and go to the top left hand side of the menu bar where it says Design Templates, and you want to click on Book Cover Maker. So Placeit has a bunch of different uh, templates that we can use, but for today's video, we're going to use this second one on the left here. All right, and on the left hand side, we have all our different text options. Uh, but before we do any of that, I want to go to the top right here and where it says default, these are the dimensions of the design, the book cover that we have right now. And it's a square, so let's get a rectangle uh, happening here. Let me just click on that. And we have all these different presets depending on where you plan to uh, use your book cover. Perhaps you want to use it on Amazon or some other online or offline uh, book or ebook retailer. So you just use the dimensions that they specify that you should use for your book cover. I'm just going to use this first option here. All right. So uh, the first thing we can do is edit the actual text of the book cover. So each one of these represents a line on the book cover. I'm just going to go ahead and change the title of the book to something more interesting like, uh, let's try something like Through the Forest into the woods. All right. So next to each line of text, we have this little checkbox. And if we click on it, we're going to remove that line of text completely. So if you don't need all these lines of text, you can just click on little checkboxes and uh, you'll get rid of those lines of text. I'm just going to put it back. And you see, as I click on each one of these little, little, uh, these little things, And you see as I click on each one of these, these options or make a change, the design of the book cover actually changes in real time. So we get a preview of what's happening and how those changes are affecting the design. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see now. The other thing we can do is below each line of text, we have a button that allows us to change the font of that line. So I'm just going to click this first one. And you get a drop down with all the different options, all the different fonts you can use. And there's a bunch. You can just play with them until you find something you like. I've already seen this font. I think it's going to look pretty good. So I'm just going to go ahead and change all the lines of text to to that font. You can mix and match any way you like. So let me see here. All right. And this last line is actually the uh, the title, the And this last line is actually the uh, author's name. So let's go ahead and change that to uh, Stephen Harper, perhaps, uh, the imaginary author to our imaginary book. All right, and we can also change that, uh, the font of the author's name. So I'll change that right now. All right, I like that much better. So next we have this layout section, which allows us to align everything to the left, to the right, or to the center. So I'm just going to leave it as it is, but if you want to, you can play with this and align everything to one side or the other. And this effect button allows us to add an effect. So right now it allows us to strike through the uh, this middle line here. If you ever wanted to use that for your book title, I'm just going to go ahead and, and get rid of it because it's not relevant to this book title. Now we move on to the right hand side where we have the different colors and patterns and backgrounds that we can use. So this first button here, this is the effects color. And that's if we were to use an effect, but right now we're not actually using an effect. We, if we were to use the strike through, we would be using uh, the effect uh, color button to change the color of the strike through. Next, we have the color patterns section where we can select the color of the color pattern that we're using, or we can even get rid of it as it is right now. It has uh, no image selected, so we're not actually using a background pattern. But let me show you what that looks like if I were to select one. All right, so that actually looks kind of kind of interesting. But let's see if we can't find something a little more relevant to our book cover. So this looks like a, a sort of a wood pattern. We'll go ahead and use that. And next we have the background color and the pattern or image section. Once again, we can select the color of that. So right now it's set to this uh, kind of a slightly dark blue. And uh, we have all these different options for the background color. But if you want to see more options, we can just click on more. And we can be really precise with the background color that we want. And if we happen to know the hex code, for the background color that we want to use, we simply type that in here and click on choose. So let me go ahead and actually 
select the background color that I want. Since this is a sort of a wooden, well it is a, like a tree uh, pattern. I'm just going to go ahead and change it to brown. And I'm going to go back to color patterns and also change this to a, a lighter brown so we can actually see the contrast. Let's see what that looks like. All right. I think I'm actually going to make this darker, a little bit of a darker brown. All right. Maybe even slightly darker than that so we can actually see the, the line. So that looks pretty good. All right. So the other thing that you might want to do is make everything a little bit smaller or a little bit bigger. And so you just have these two buttons down here where it allows you to kind of minimize everything all at once or make it bigger all at once. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and actually change the background color one more time. I'm not totally satisfied, but you see, that's what's great about these patterns, uh, about these uh, templates. You can actually just continue to keep editing and editing as long as you like until you get it exactly as you like. So this looks much better and I'm really happy with the way this is turning out. So once you're done, you simply go and click on download and you purchase your, your final uh, finished professional ebook or your book cover and you follow those steps. And that's how easy it is to make a book cover or an ebook cover using Placeit.